was just enjoying a riveting game of Mario Kart on my iPad. Would you like to know how to do it? Okay, so let's take a look at what you're actually going to need to do this. First, obviously, you need an iPad. Second, you're going to want to have a Bluetooth Wiimote. And third, you are going to want to have a sync cable. The other option, which we'll discuss later, is actually using your iPhone or iPod Touch. But for this demonstration, this is how we're going to do it. So, it probably goes without saying that you need a computer too, um, because we're actually going to jailbreak the iPad using Spirit. So first of all, plug in your iPod sync cable to your machine and to your iPad. You're going to want to make sure you back everything up. So go ahead and let your iPad sync with your computer. And then when you're done, we want to download the Spirit Jailbreak program. Once you're done syncing, go to spiritjb, as in jailbreak, dot com, and go ahead and download the Spirit application. You'll see under the download header, it's available for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. Go ahead and open up the Spirit application. You'll see it's just a window with a button that says jailbreak, and it will let you know if your iPad is ready and connected. If it is, and iTunes has quit, and you've backed up and taken care of everything you need to, go ahead and just click the jailbreak button and let it do its magic. After the jailbreaking process is complete, you'll find Cydia is already installed on your iPad. So just go ahead and launch it. And then once Cydia goes through its thing and loads all the data and gets it all set up, um, you're going to want to click on Cydia Store Products. Clicking on Products will give you a list of a lot of the popular applications. Unfortunately, SNES for iPhone um, is one of the products that we're going to be purchasing. Go ahead and click on it. After clicking on it, you'll be presented with an information page and also a purchase button in the top right corner. Go ahead and click that. You'll need to sign in with your Google account or your Facebook account to authenticate, but after that, you'll be actually making a payment either with Amazon or with PayPal. It'll go ahead and download and then you'll have SNES for iPhone on your iPad. Now that you've got everything installed, you're going to need some games to play. If you're into emulation, you probably already have them. Uh, if not, you're going to have to do some searching on Google or whatever. And you can do that directly from within the SNES for iPhone application. When you get there, you can just click on any link for a ROM and it will download it to the correct folder. Alternatively, you can SSH into your media slash ROMs folder, store them in there, and it will automatically see them. The next thing you need to do is sync your Bluetooth Wiimote to the iPad so you can actually play the SNES games with it. To do that, it's really, really easy. All you have to do is make sure that it's not currently synced to your Wii or your Wii is off. All you have to do is launch SNES for iPhone, go into the Options panel, and then all the way at the bottom you'll see Wiimote Support. Just flick that to On. Before this will work, you'll need to restart SNES for iPhone. So go ahead and do that, and then when it starts up, you should see it searching for Bluetooth sources. In order to get your Wiimote to sync, you're going to need to hold down the 1 and the 2 button on the Wiimote. Then, pretty quickly, it should pick up in the SNES for iPhone application. If you find that your Bluetooth Wiimote syncing isn't working, it's probably because SNES for iPhone uses a different method than your standard iPad Bluetooth syncing. So what you want to do is actually go into your iPad settings and turn Bluetooth off. That may reduce the interference and make it possible to sync your Wiimote properly. Once you've got your Wiimote synced, then all you have left to do is play. You just can choose a ROM and go into landscape mode with sound for the best possible picture. Tilt your iPad widescreen and get ready to play. This whole process can be applied to other emulators for the iPad as well, such as the Nintendo Entertainment System and the Nintendo 64. And those both have Bluetooth support, so just search Insidia for the console you're looking for and you should find what you want. Lastly, there's just one alternative to mention, and that's SNES HD. Should you prefer to have an iPad native application to avoid the pixel doubling that's enforced by uh, having SNES for iPhone being an iPhone application, then you can download that instead. The problem is you need an iPhone or an iPod Touch to make it work, and you're using touch controls. So if you prefer the Bluetooth support, stick with SNES for iPhone. If you'd rather have a native device and don't mind using your iPhone or iPod Touch as a controller, SNES HD is for you.